Barbarian is in the Dork Lair! Welcome to another Dork Lair action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Mythic Legion's Deluxe Barbarian Builder figure, and I'm super happy to have this. There's a little bit of an interesting story behind this guy, so... When they were doing the second run of the Advent of Decay, which had a female Legion Builder Barbarian in it, they accidentally, the, the factory accidentally reproduced a bunch of, um, of these, which is, I think it's like a, it's either a 1.0 or like a 1.5, um, and it's a deluxe figure. And so Four Horsemen found themselves with a bunch of extras of these and the factory is sort of uh, having to go back and make the ones that they kind of failed on. But this is a really good accident in my opinion because this figure had become incredibly difficult to find um, in the aftermarket and it was going for, you know, like 150 or something like that. And the retail price or the, the pre-order price or the in-stock price is 52. So there's... You know, it's really nice to see this thing get a release, and uh, I'm super pumped because it is incredible. I missed out originally. I finally have one of these things in hand, and it is awesome. Comes with a billion accessories, tons of different options to swap in and out. So if you have two of these, or if you have other figures that kind of fit this theme um, within the Mythic Legions line, then you are going to be one happy camper if you pick this up. So let's get into this review. Starting off with the packaging. Um, this is a wider box than the usual Mythic Legions figures, um, and it does have like a double tray. You can see the uh, character on the side there, a couple different options on display, and then it's just got a wider back. One cool thing about this figure with the wider back is it actually has this back uh, the card that comes out, you can actually use it as a really nice backdrop, and it's handy that it's wider for, for wider angle pictures, but that's a great little feature right there. I love using that thing as a, uh, as a backdrop for photos. All right, so when you first get him out of the box, this is the kind of look he's got on there. But like I said before, it's it's hard to draw the line between what's an accessory and what's just like another part of the figure, because it just comes with so much stuff that you can swap in and out. Um, but starting from the top with this head sculpt, um, really the highlight on this is the beard here. It's got sort of that dwarven helm looking thing. Um, I do like that they painted um, that sort of bronze goldish color across the, uh, across the top there, giving it a nice look. The other helmet does not really have any paint on it like that. The beard sculpting is excellent. You got some braids in there, lots of detail. There's no real um, wash or anything, at least nothing very drastic. It's a very subtle wash if there is one, but doesn't even need it because the beard is so um, thickly sculpted that it casts its own shadows within itself and it just looks awesome. It's a great looking head sculpt. I love it. And then once you get like those antlers on there or the horns or something else, it just really just comes alive. Um, the body is your standard sort of um, armorless body, which is nice because I feel like there's not a ton of them that come with bare arms and bare chest like all together. Oftentimes you'll see like um, one armored arm and one bare arm, but it's nice to have like a, almost like a full fully, um, you know, barbarian kind of body here, which is really cool. Um, and as usual, the sculpt work is excellent. Lots of rippling barbarian muscles. I do have a little bit of a sloppy paint here. Uh, something rubbed off on there. I'm not sure if I did that, like pulling it out of the packaging or what, but pretty much right away I had noticed that. I don't care though. He's a barbarian. He's going to be messy. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, it's going to look weird from behind when you don't have any pauldrons or anything else on him because he's got these little holes for the various attachments and accessories and stuff. Um, and then coming down into the gauntlets, these are the very like aggressive looking gauntlets. Um, I think the orcs tend to have these gauntlets, very wild, chipped, um, weathered. There's no real paint on them. Again, this is a this is a builder essentially. Um, and the real draw to this one is the accessories, not necessarily the deluxe paint scheme. But there are some pretty cool paint applications. Like, for example, you have little rivets and things painted into the loincloth here and the uh, the belt and skirt over here. And um, 
you know, that stuff pretty much matches the top of the head there. So that looks pretty cool there. And then you have the, um, you know, the sculpted legs, flesh color. I have heard that this one is a much lighter paint scheme than the original one. So this reissue is uh, like painted a little bit differently. And the flesh is, I think, is uh, the skin tone is a lot lighter, apparently. And I guess also the armor as well, according to some of the folks on the Mythic Legions Cabal Facebook group, which you should join. And uh, yeah, so coming down to the legs, you have the armored, chipped, uh, orc sort of style, um, lower leg gear, boots, greaves, whatever. Um, and then these feet here, nice big wide feet, gives them a sturdy stance. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, just an awesome looking figure and really I haven't even begun the review yet because it's the accessories that really make this thing incredible. All right, so now for the accessories, which really is the, the main meat and potatoes of this figure. Um, he comes with just tons of stuff, just like the Knight. I have the Knight, uh, the Deluxe Knight Builder on the 1.0 body and it's incredible and it's just so much fun to swap out pieces and it really makes you want to have like a second figure that's kind of similar like maybe um Adamon or or Atlas the Conqueror or something like that so that you can really like mix and match and and have a lot going on with you know mul with basically put to use all of these crazy awesome accessories so starting off he does come with one other head sculpt and this is um the, ma the mast head sculpt without the beard on there and it does have the ports on the side so that you can plug in um the large number of accessories for that. So I'll use this head to demonstrate the, all the different ones, okay? So starting off, we have the antlers. You can see how those look right there. The antlers look fantastic. Um, they're nicely painted. They look like bone. Incredible, incredible accessory right there. Really cool. Next up, and one of the main reasons why I really wanted this figure is because of there are very few figures that come with these wings, um, bat wings or dragon wings or whatever you want to call them for the for these head sculpts. And I just love these so much. This is one of my favorite um, looks, this helmet with these on there. And the next set of wings is basically like a pair of eagle wings. They're painted really nicely um, and the sculpt work really brings out those that feather sculpt. So these are great. Next up, he's essentially got a pair of Viking ty type of horns on there. And I think this is my favorite look with the bearded head is to have these horns on there. He just looks like a Viking, pretty badass. And then finally, he's got these uh, longer dark horns, almost like a demonic kind of horn looking thing. And those can, you know, you can have those angled down or possibly up as well. Same thing with the Viking horns. Those can go up or down too. Um, but that is a very demonic looking thing. Okay, so he comes with um, two sets of pauldrons. So this is the first set. This is sort of like the orc style, very aggressive, chipped, wild, rugged. And then he's got more of like the knight style um, shoulder armor. And those look great as well. A little bit of paint on these ones with the rivets there. And then he also comes with a swap out skirt and loincloth. And this is my preferred look for him. I really like that barbarian look. It's just... Uh, it just fits the character better than than the other one. Um, you know, this with the bearded head sculpt, and then I kind of like this with the other head sculpt. And he comes with one shield, very basic paint application on here. It's just cast in a gold color, and then it has a wash throughout. It does come with the newer thing, which is the handle on here, and the old one came with the clasp that would go around the wrist. Uh, I believe that that's at least how they used to do them. Uh, so that's a little bit of a change there. For the weapons, he comes with a bunch of weapons as well. He's got this uh, standard Mythic Legions axe, and you can pop this piece off here and then put the other end on to make it a double-headed axe. Great piece. I do kind of wish, I might take one of my axes and, and clip it down. I do sometimes wish they had a shorter um, axe. I know they have a shorter axe, but not a lot of figures come with it, so... I think it would be cool if this was maybe just one step down shorter. So one of the figures, one of these days, I might just clip that end off there um, because the, the ax is incredibly long. He's got a um, sort of a regular sword here, just like a standard soldier's weapon. Um, I have noticed there's a little bit of paint, sloppy paint on here. If you look where the blade um, comes down to the hilt, 
you'll notice there's a little bit of paint, there's a little bit of that bronze paint on the blade itself. But otherwise it's great, it's got some nice weathering on the handle there, great looking sword. Very similar paint application on this sword here. Um, so this one is like a longer um, two-handed type sword. And you can see it right there, great looking sword. He's got a dagger to go with the set. And finally, he has a spear. All right, so for the articulation, I put this head on here because the beard can definitely get in the way and kind of limit the articulation. So, um, so this head uh, will bend down this far, and then it'll bend, it'll look up that far. Uh, pretty standard Mythic Legion's articulation. It's just on a ball joint at the top there. You can see it right there. And moving into the arms, his arms will swing all the way around, and then they'll raise up about that much, maybe slightly higher if I can angle them a little bit different. Um, there's no bicep swivel up top there, but there is an elbow joint, single jointed elbow. There's a swivel at the forearm, and then there's also a swivel and a hinge at the wrist there. There's a ball joint at the waist, and that's where you pop off, comes off pretty easily um, if you want to switch, if you want to switch out this for the um, for the other set right here. You can see how it looks on him. Um, the legs are on a hinge and he can kick out that far. Um, there's a swivel up at the top of the thigh. He can kick forward this far and back quite a bit as well. Coming down to the knees, you can swivel right below the knee and then the legs will kick up that much, about 90 degrees. And then coming down to the foot, it will point down this far, point up this far. It will sort of uh, angle side to side there and then it'll rotate all the way around. So standard Mythic Legion's articulation, if you've seen um, any 1.0 bodies, any figures in the 1.0, it's basically the same stuff. So yeah, this figure is a home run, absolute home run. This figure is incredible. Um, I, I gotta say it's, it's um, for 52, which was the, the in stock slash pre-order price. It's an absolute bargain. It's a hell of a steal. Um, that being said, I think that even at some of these markup prices that I'm seeing, for example, on Big Bad Toy Store, it's 90 bucks, which is ridiculous because they usually mark up the deluxe builder sets to 60, I think. And um, to go an extra 30 beyond that just seems kind of crazy to me. Um, but even at that $90 price point, I actually still kind of think that this is a, a, a decent value. I mean, hopefully you can find it for less, like maybe in between somewhere like 75 ish. If you're on the, on the groups or something like that, um, who knows, maybe somebody will do a giveaway at some point down the road pretty soon. We don't know. Anyway. Um, I, I still think that, I still think that you should grab it if you want it, because once the secondary market supply dries up a little bit it's going to be jacked back up to 150 bucks it's just too good of a figure to um to stay low when the supply dries up um so hopefully you can get your hands on one if you want it highly recommend it bite the bullet you won't be disappointed it's an incredible figure Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to tune in to the Dorklair Collecting Podcast. Follow me on Instagram at the Dorklair. And until next time, may the force be with you.